back. We're going to try this thing again, y'all. This is that same look um, that I had earlier today that the camera decided to cut off on. So hopefully you guys can still see it. My lighting has totally gotten a little darker than what it was earlier. But I will have pictures um, in the video from earlier so you can see how it looked earlier today. But again, it's like a purple smoky look. Um, it has like some taupes and tans and... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get started. As always, you want to start with a freshly cleansed face. You want to, and I'll do a video on my skin skincare routine also. That's been working very well for me. But you always want to start with a fresh face that's been clean, cleansed, and moisturized. Um, once you've cleansed and moisturized your face, you of course want to prime your eye. Today I chose to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion which looks like this. It's really good. And one thing I like about it is it does not have color. So you can rub it all over your lid and all the way up to the uh, brow bone and you won't get any color, but it will prevent your shadows from creasing. Okay, so let's start with the first color. The first color that I chose to use on the lid, that light color right there in the center, it came from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And the color that I used is here. And it's called Sidecar. Can you see that right there sidecar and it's a beautiful beautiful almost like a champagne um, color it's very glittery it's beautiful color and I just took a flat brush like so and I just applied that to just the middle the inner part of my lid and the color is kind of light so you may have to take a couple of coats and put it on. And usually when I do colors such as this, I pat. Because these colors that have a lot of shimmer in them, they will give you a good bit of fallout. And normally if I was doing this look for the first time, I would not have on any foundation. I always go in the order of doing my eyebrows first, then I do my eye makeup, then I conceal, and then I put on foundation. And that way, when you have any type of fallout from your eyeshadow, the foundation and the concealer will cover and clean up that fallout. But because I'm, I've already been out and about all day and I'm just redoing the look, I already have on um, some foundation. I did try to take off some so I can give you guys an idea of the look. Okay, so I just wanted to get it right in the center of my eye, not going to the inner or the outer portion of the eye. Next, after that, I just took another flat brush, and you want to use a darker base because we want the outside of our eyes to be dark. So because of, I wanted a darker base, I used, um, this is actually a fluid line. It's Black Track Fluid Line by MAC, and it's a gel liner, but it works great as a base. However, if you don't have Black Track, you can use something like this by NYX. It's just a jumbo eye pencil, and it's in black bean. It's a cream base, and it works great just as well so what you want to do is take your flat brush like so and you just want to get a good bit of product on there and you want to apply that sorry you want to apply that to both the inner parts of your eye as well as the outer third of your eye and again this does not have to be neat because the idea is to smoke it out so you will be doing a great deal of blending so it does not have to be neat. So, like so. I know it looks crazy, but trust me, we'll blend it out. Next thing we're going to do is grab a blending brush. And let me tell you about brushes, y'all. You don't have to get all these high-priced brushes. This is a brush by Sonia Keshuk. Sonia Keshuk. And she sells these in Target. But you can also get one from e.l.f. They're in Target. These are three bucks. Three dollars. They're very good brushes. So I'm just going to take my Sonia Keshuk brush just because it's a little bit fluffier and I'm going to blend out. And when I blend, basically what you want to do is connect this dark part with the in, all in the crease. You want to connect the dark part with that middle color right back with the dark part. So we're blending right in the crease, just like that. And I know you've heard this a million times, but you want to do the windshield wiper motion back and forth, back and forth, like so. And what you want to do is make the colors look as if they kind of mesh into each other. Now 
Next, what you want to do is take a flat or a matte black base, a black eyeshadow, I'm sorry. And what I like to use for my, my favorite black matte makeup eyeshadow is Carbon by MAC. And when we say matte, when I say matte, meaning no shimmer, same black brush, just flip it over on the other side. It's, I can't talk tonight. Same flat brush. You just want to flip it over to the other side. You want to get a good bit of that product on your brush and I'll go back over where we put that base. You want to pick back up your blending brush. And you want to blend these two together. And one thing about blending, it may take a while to achieve the look that you want. But it's okay. Just keep on blending. That's the one thing that I've learned that makes your makeup look just seamless. Can you see that? It's, it's going into the crease now. Okay. Next, I went into my BH Party Girl palette, which is here. Oh, nope, that's the concealer palette, sorry. BH Party Girl palette, which is here. It has beautiful colors in this palette, um, as you can see. And the color that we're going to do is going this purple and this pink. And we're actually going to mix the two of those together and go right above the crease with those colors. And I'm just taking my e.l.f. blending brush simply because that's the one I used earlier. And um, it's already got the colors on there. And all I'm doing, y'all, is going from here to here. Getting a little bit of product on both. Of both. And I'm going, let me grab my mirror. And I'm going right above where we where we where we blended those colors, like so. You see that? And we just want to blend that into the darker color. You see that now because we blended so much see how we've lost a little bit of color there in the top lid I went back into my BH party girl palette and I took another flat brush or you can use the one from earlier and I took this taupey color right here and I just went back right back over that color just to bring some color make, just to make it pop a little more like so next you want to do a um, brow bone highlight and with that, you can choose any light color. Um, I can show you several in this palette. Um, you can go with something like this. Um, if you have the Naked palette, you can go with um, this color. It's called Virgin. Um, you can also go with another color by MAC. It's called Orb. Let me see if I can grab it right here. Right here. This is Orb. O R B by Mac. Um, I have tons of colors that you really can use for a highlight, but you want to go with something that's pretty light, but yet something that you can blend. So you can either put it on with a flat brush and then blend it out, or you can just go ahead and put it on with a clean blending brush. And I don't have a clean blending brush handy, so I'm just going to grab a flat brush. 
And what you want to do with your brow bone highlight, you want to put it in the highest point of your brows, which is usually here. And then you just want to blend it out. And I know you've heard me say that a million times, but that's the key to these looks is blending. Can you see? And so now we have a nice transition from dark to light to dark. And up in here, it goes into a beautiful purplish pink and it transitions right on into our brow, brow color. Next, you can take a dark um, eyebrow pencil. I chose to use Smolder by MAC, which I need to get another one. It's a coal, but the good thing about Smolder is that it's e easier to smudge. So I want to put it right in the waterline, which is right on the inside of your eye. It gives it a very detailed look. And you see where the waterline is? It's not on the outer part. It's right on the inside of the line of the eye. I don't know if you can see that. There's also a different um, lining technique that you can do. It's called tight lining. That's when you actually go, it looks like it's right up under the lash line. Um, I won't embarrass myself and try to do that. But it does give it a better, a more defined look. So if you guys are bold and brave, you want to try it, just look up tight lining and see, see if you like that. So now that we have that color on the bottom, it's just a beautiful lined black. I would go back into my BH Party Girl palette, and I'll take some of that purple that we used earlier, put it on a uh, pointy brow. Honestly, y'all, I think this is a pencil brush. I'm not sure, but it's just this really detailed brush. Can you see it? There you go. It's a real detailed brush. And I would take it on the outer third of your eye and go right around the, the lash line. Just on the outer third. Okay. Now for the inner third, you want to go right back into that color that we put on the lid, that taupey color. And you want to go in the inner third with that. Now, just for fun, if you want to, just to give your eyes an extra pop, you can do a inner um, a teared up highlight, and you can take that pencil brush again, and you can go in with it. I'm just going to use a mineralized eyeshadow. This is by Elf, and it's called Celebrity, and it's a mineralized eyeshadow, meaning it's loose. Can you see that? I'm just going to dab my brush into there. And I'm going right into the tear duct. And it gives your eye that extra glow. Right at the tear duct. And I'm just going to take a brush, a blending brush. Blend it out. Okay, now at this point, I would just add mascara. Um, the mascara that I'm currently using is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto, but my absolute favorite mascara, which I don't think I have handy, is called They're Real, and it's made by Benefit. I don't have it handy, 
but it's called They're Real. It's made by Benefit. And I also like the Maybelline, the Falsies, which I probably will do that one. Now, even if I was put, if I were to put on false lashes, I would still apply mascara to my natural lashes. And you can also apply it to your bottom lashes to give you that added effect. All right, ladies and gents, that's pretty much it. Um, you can also add um, a liner to the top. You can add a liquid liner and wing it out if you so choose. But I personally think the look looks really good just like it is. So... That's pretty much it. Um, at this point, I would go ahead and add my under eye concealer. And then I would put on my foundation. And well, I'll have another video coming up showing you how I add foundation, how I conceal, how I highlight, um, things like that. But so far, this is the look. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helped you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.